Hi everyone and welcome. Uh, this morning we are doing my regular um, Facebook Live on a Tuesday morning instead of Monday night. So if this is your first time watching me, usually I come to you Monday evening at 7 o'clock Mountain Time. Um, but this week I just had to postpone it a little bit till this morning. So, so glad you can join me. My name is Lillian. I'm coming to you from Alberta, Canada, and I love to share crafting ideas with you and maybe unlock your own um, crafting ideas. So while I go but down to my desktop to share um, what we're doing today, I have a question for you. What um, what is your favorite meal to eat out? If you were to go out for a meal, would it be for breakfast? Would it be for brunch? Lunch? Supper? What is your favorite meal to eat out? So drop that comment in the comments below. Let us know yours and I will get things set up here. So I would have to say my favorite meal to eat out would likely be breakfast, believe it or not. Oops, I'm having troubles with my machine here. Let's get this. There we go. So yeah, um, I love breakfast foods, but I'm not always the most with it in the mornings. I can get up early, but don't ask me to interact or anything. So I kind of like it when we go out for breakfast or sometimes my husband will make a really nice breakfast too so that's always a plus so let's just let me get this all making sure that we're on the screen and uh there we go oops and today i've titled today may the gnomes be with you a little um it's, take off from uh, Star Wars, I think it is. We could also say welcome to the gnome side. You could do all kinds of things. But one of the big runaway hits in the new uh, mini catalog is this, this is the mini catalog, and you find the gnomes. Now I had it marked and I then I unmarked it. You find the whole gnome suite on pages 42 and 43. There, there's tons here. There's the stamp set, there are the dies, there's this gorgeous ribbon, which I've got right here, and it's called the Balmy Blue Double Stitched Ribbon. And what it is, is it's almost, um, oh, it's a very soft ribbon, but it's more like a linen or, I don't know, canvas, whatever in the background. And then it has a piece of shiny ribbon down the middle. They've actually layered it so it looks like that. It, it, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous ribbon to use as an accent. It's a little bulky for bow tying, but it's great for doing as a loop or um, that kind of thing. If you were not mailing it, it would work great. You could still tie a bow with it. You can still tie a knot with it. You can do all kinds of things with it. The other thing that's part of the suite is the Fine Sparkle Adhesive Back Gems. And I am flying through these. So here they are right here. They are in four colors. The colors are Calypso Coral, Pale Papaya, Pacific Point, and a cool party and then each color has two sizes so there's a smaller and a larger and look at them sparkle Ooh, they just look so neat so um i'm still trying to figure out something on this computer here there we are okay and i see some of you on excellent Another thing in here is the puff paint. Now puff paint comes like this. We've had it before, but not for a little while. And it's called Snowball Accents Puff Paint. Now it is important to read the instructions, can't talk very much, because it says to shake well. So you do have to shake. And when it comes out, it, um, and I'll be using this on future projects, it's pretty runny. So you can see it's runny like that. It doesn't look like much, but when you heat it up, 
Look at the dimension. Look at the snowballs or if you were doing a garland on a tree. So yeah, there's this is going to see lots of use, I am sure. So um, that is another thing in this suite. And I'm just going to move that out of the way so I don't put something in it. And last but certainly not least is the designer paper. So the designer paper is called Storybook Gnomes. And um, here's my little swatch sheet. And then these are all the colors. Look at all the colors. And then, of course, you can add more as you see fit. Um, because these gnomes, they can, they're can they not just for Christmas. They are for anything. So let me just show you the gnome paper. Here's the 6x6, six six, which my paper share people are getting. So on this side are the little gnomes. And I'll talk about something special about them in a minute. And then it looks like an argyle sweater. Then we've got mountains and trees, very snowy looking. And we've got that. And then look at these, so neat. You can even just cut out part of this and make your card. Every picture seems to tell a story here. And then these, I just love these toadstools. Uh, and then we've got this and again, you could cut these out or use them in the background. They are, just adorable and then on the back we've got these great trees that make a great border a background um, all kinds of things and again here the gnomes are just busy busy people and look at them here this is definitely not necessarily christmas it could be for anything and then on the back we have the pool party and then this which i think is one of my favorites um, at the moment and then on the back we've got this one here so th that's the designer paper it is it is stunning um, so let's close our catalog up and look at this a little bit more so you can see here the little gnomes there is a Christmas, um, there are Christmas words with it, but these three words go with anything. You know we so well, warm wishes, your kindness does not go unnoticed, and then of course you can add whatever words you want. So, oh, I meant to show you in the catalog. Well, you can order it as a bundle, but remember there is a sweet number as well. Then there are these great dies. So the dies cut out some of the stamps, so they will cut out the toadstool stamp and the th uh, four gnomes. We've got that. But then there's all kinds of other things. There's grass. There's little toadstools. And I don't know if you can see, but these dies, they have embossing on them. Maybe you can see it there. A lot of these dies have. The grass does too. Or you can build your own gnome here. And this, these are, they gave two noses in case you were building lots. And I'm, we're going to deal with this. And then there was a die. And I thought, what is this die? What what could that be for? It's just a die for making a hole. Because sometimes, have you ever wanted to make a hole somewhere where your hole punch won't go or that kind of thing? So here is the answer to that dilemma right there. So let's put that to the side and take a look at why I... Um, I'm so excited about this because I'm going to concentrate a bit on the dies. So first off, I said I was going to showcase a little bit more about the designer paper. These amazing dies in true Stamping Up style, they will cut out some images from the designer paper. So say, for example, I had this sheet of designer paper. I just loosely cut so I get a strip that goes into the die cutting machine easily. And look at this, you can cut that out. So if you love color, but you don't like coloring, this would be the way to go. You could cut those out and they would work perfectly. Then we have this sheet with all these little gnomes on it. Guess what? If you loosely cut it out, just like I did, the little gnome dies will fit. You just have to do the little puzzle piece and try to figure out which one fits. Um, so this one fits that one there. So just like that, and then they all, they, you can cut all of them out. Um, so that works perfectly. So what you end up with, let me move these out of the way. 
if you sit down and just cut a couple of strips, you end up with all these things that make it really, really easy to build a card with. Look at that. So I don't know if you recall that um, when I was doing the um, embossing accessory kit and I was showing that the um, embossing buddy could take the static out of a, a window sheet, I hadn't built this card. But here it is. I just took one of these, popped it on top, and added some of these great adhesive back sequins and, and added this paper. Now this paper looks like it comes from this suite, but it doesn't. This paper, look how perfectly it goes. It comes from the Rings of, um, Rings of Love Suite in Celebration. So you could add this in really, really easily. In fact, I accidentally get it mixed in quite often. So let's move those out of the way. So that is one type of thing you can use on a card. You can make it really easy that way. The other thing is, is you can do your stamping and then cut things out. Better make sure I've got the right die. That would work. So there we go. And like that. And you might say, well, Lillian, that's a lot of coloring and I don't have time for it. So I, I love to color, but I, I can hear you. Sometimes I don't have time for it either. So I made one in black and white. So there you go like that. Now you might say, how did I get that overlap? You might recall, where's my little stamp set? Uh, when I did my masking paper one, I showed how to do that. So just as a little review, in case you missed it, I do have a video on masking paper. I stamped this little gnome first, then I stamped him on masking paper and cut him out, cutting right on the lines or maybe a smidge inside. Then I put him this masking paper over top of my stamped image and then I stamped the toadstool. Now right now it looks like a mess and that's what it looked like and then I just peeled it off and just like that we've got this toadstool behind the little gnome, just strictly in black and white. And then I added color with the, um, oh, what's the name again? It's part of the sweet fine sparkle adhesive back gems. I need a shorter word. And then I added just a few sprigs of um, the ribbon there, just to add a bit of color. Then you can see that I used some designer paper that is not from the sweet. The designer paper here is the Gingham Cottage designer paper, and it comes in a zillion colors and works so well with everything. So there you go. That's that's a quick and easy way of and just using your stamps. So we've got that. Just a little hint. I keep my mask. You can reuse those masks, and I keep mine just stuck in the case like that. So you can use your die cut, uh, cut right from the designer paper. You can use. Um, just black and white and go like that or you can stamp again on your uh, basic white or shimmery white or whatever and then cut them out and you can start to build something so I'm going to bring in one of the toadstools oh while while I'm thinking toadstool a the red one or toadstool B which one should I use all right tell me that and then I'm going to well here's we could leave the toadstool just black and we could pop this on the front and look at how it changes the look of that card um, just like that so toadstool red or toadstool B and so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this the same kind of layout and we're going to bring in, I am seeing A. So we'll bring in Toadstool A. I'm just going to lay it down. So I'm going to combine designer paper and um, coloring. So these I colored with our blends, but you could easily color with our pencil crayons, our markers or whatever. I just 
I'm hooked on the blends. So let's see if I put this down here. So it's basically the same design. I want him to look kind of sassy poking out like that, I think. Like that. Yeah, he could even be sort of behind the toadstool. Okay, think that's where I'm going. I'm going to put adhesive on here. And remember, your blends go right through, so you don't want to put it right on your desk. You want to put some protective paper underneath. So let's just see. Yeah, he's, he's photobombing. There we go. And we'll put this down just like that. This one I think we'll put on dimensionals. A couple should do it. Well, fingers aren't working very well. There we go. Just like that. Let's see. And then the dies have these great this great grass sprig and again it's got the detail and just like that I sponged the edges a little bit so we could finish off by adding a bit oh here there wherever and now if we brought this in and pop this on look at how it changes the look so we could do it that way we can do it that way I have another way to show you. So we'll put this to the side. Let's get this over. So one of the um, things that I actually I fell in love with with these dies were the pieces for building the gnomes. So let's bring in the pieces. I cut them out already. So you can see that again the detail. And did you see this? This is to show you where to put the hat. The little flaps of the hat fit right there. And then this here, that's to show you where to put the nose. Isn't that brilliant? I just, I just love it. Now I cut his beard out of shimmery white. Yes, he is a mischievous gnome, uh, Linda. Uh, I, I just think they, they have, they are all mischievous and they just make me smile. So um, so now I've got the beard in shimmery white. I am going to very quickly and easily just build my gnome. So I'm going to put a bit of adhesive on those two spots. And I know that this hat that is stitched and I cut it out of the gingham, cottage gingham designer paper, gingham cottage, whichever, I like that. And so I'm going to put that there just like that. So now he's got a hat, now he needs some feet. So we'll put a bit of um, adhesive just at the top of his pants here. And let's see, there he goes. So now we've got him this far, just so, so cute. The nose, I think I am going to put on a mini dimensional. So we'll put that like, like that. You could put him it flat if you wanted. I, I just love how quickly and easily he comes together. Now you could add a little bit of pool party here for a little more dimension. Um, in fact, why don't I do that? I'm always hesitating to do this when I already like what I've got. But I'm going to just add some pool party where the squiggles are. And yes, it looks a bit strong right now. So what I do is I bring in my color lifter and then I soften it up. I just want to make sure that this is clean. There we go. And I'm just going to swish and it right now it doesn't look like much, but as it dries, it will soften that and make it more of a shade instead of blobs. There's my very technical term. So there we go, just like that. And while that is doing its thing, well, let's build the little toadstool. So we have two stems, a longer and a shorter, and then we have these little toadstools. So I'll just put a little adhesive on the very 
tips of the stems like that. And one, two, and just like that, we have a gnome and two toadstools. Um, just, isn't that just so much fun? Uh, <laughs> Linda, you're going to intercept Karen's? Uh, yes, I, I'm, I'm warning you, these guys are addictive. I will be definitely inviting you all to the gnome side, um, and we will have to keep sharing what we do. But anyway, so there's like that. So what I did, here it is, I used the, is the gnome designer paper here, and it's just like that. So this card opens like that so to, there's a way to showcase the designer paper now i don't know if you can see that i stamped good looking from the amazing phrases where is it here the amazing phrasing pardon me from a celebration in the background and embossed it in white and then i sponged over top so just to add that into the background so what what else could this little guy do? Well, I, let's bring in just a layer of basic white. And then I brought in a palm tree. And I think, I haven't got this all planned out, but um, I think this little guy, or maybe the guy that squatted down, I don't know. We could build a background and we could uh, just build a little tropical scene, right? I think there's potential there. Um, uh, we will, I will be playing with that. So this is something in the future. But look at your other dies, your other stamp sets and see what you can combine. There's the oceanfront one. Yeah, that would look really good. There's all kinds. So this has just been a, a quick little visit with the gnomes, and I know that you're going to be having a lot of fun with them. So let's bring in some of the things we did before I share. So we did that, so that. So you can make it as simple or co as complex. <laughs> and I think um, Linda and Karen are going to have to get together to play with their gnomes. All right, so that's that's what I wanted to share with you today, just how fun and easy those gnomes are and the fact that they will work with all kinds of things in your collection. So just before I move on, last week I shared this card here and I... It, um, Mary Ann Tulner, your name was drawn. So Mary Ann, um, I will be contacting you for your mailing address and this will be coming in the mail to you. And you're going, well, how did she get that? Well, if you leave a comment today, whether you're watching on YouTube or Facebook, or if you're watching the replay, you leave a comment and your name goes on into a draw for a card that I made today. So I'll have to decide which card I'm going to send to you. So there's that. The other thing that I want to share is there's a new paper pumpkin that we can um, register for. Pair of, I'm seeing pair of glasses. Miss the beginning of a uh, pair of sunglasses. Do you know what, Karen? I was playing with that. Because in the hippo, right, we've got the sunglasses. So let's see. Let me, where did that tropical one go? We could add some sunglasses sitting on the nose, right? Ah uh, ha ha, I think there's, yep, you, we, our brains can go all kinds of directions. There we go. So back to what I was um, talking about. Paper Pumpkin has released uh, the, the time frame to order the August Paper Pumpkin and look at it. Doesn't it just look fabulous? Uh, so it's the sunflower theme. You will get cards in material to make nine cards, three each of three designs. Uh, they're all occasion stamp set. You will get not one, but two stampin' spots, crushed curry, and I think it's suede. Let me just see here. Crushed curry and soft suede. Yep. You'll get everything you need to make that. Plus there will be a free foil I don't know if you can see here. This foil will be 
free and added. And my husband's decided to vacuum right now. I don't know where his head is. Oh, well, I will be thankful that he's vacuuming. So this is the new August paper pumpkin. And then I have one more thing I want to share with you. This is right at the beginning of your uh, mini catalog. You will find it on page... page five. So it's called the Nourish and Flourish kit. And the neat thing about this kit is it is $4 from the sale of every one of these kits goes to fight hunger in the country that it's sold in. So I bought this in Canada. So it will go to a Canadian uh, organization that helps to fight food, uh, food, um, world hunger. So what it is, it's a lunch bag, so it's insulated just like this. It's got the insulation and then it's got the kit. So the kit will make these three cards and then of course lots of us find other ways. Everything you need, the pearls, the dimensionals. It's a non-stamping kit, so if you have a friend who's just beginning uh, to make cards, this might be perfect for them. Um, I'm just saying it's per it's wonderful. The other thing is, is this kit holds all kinds of things. So if you're like me, you don't tend to pack many lunches anymore. Thankfully, I hated packing lunches. Um, you can use this for toiletries, for crafting on the go. You can put all kinds of your crafting things in. So for example, you can put ink pads and things that you are doing. Obviously, it holds cards, uh, cardstock and things to make cards tons of things you can do with this um and th there we go oh just like that and it's got this gorgeous on the front and then on the back like that you're going to tell your husband his husband's do the back oh i like that we should we should make that a day linda we should do that excellent i don't have the heart to tell him that i just vacuumed before he got home I'm going to let him go for it and not discourage him. Anyway, um, so um, yeah, I'm getting distracted. But then you guys know me. I do get distracted sometimes. This is a wonderful little kit. So don't uh, ignore that kit. Take a good look at it at the beginning of the catalog. And once again, have some fun with your gnomes and your paper and whatever. And I think we should share here, once you make some gnome things, make sure to share in the comments today what you create because you will inspire the rest of us. So uh, thank you so much and take care and bye-bye.